Hello. It's time for another book. This is called Guardians of Being. This is a wonderful little book and I want to share it with you. Here we go. I love these animations. Animations. I love the illustrations. Let's get the right thing. And then he's blowing the dandelion flower. <clears throat> True happiness is found in simple, seemingly unremarkable things. There's the dog, being a happy dog. <clears throat> But to be aware of little quiet things, you need to be quiet inside. A high degree of alertness is required. Be still, look, listen, be present. And there they are, being present. Bring awareness to the many subtle sounds of nature. There's a beautiful seascape. The rustling of the leaves in the wind. Raindrops falling. Rain is a very neat sound. The humming of an insect. <clears throat> The first bird song at dawn. <clears throat> Give yourself completely to the act of listening. Beyond the sounds, there is something greater, a sacredness that cannot be understood through thought. Look at a tree, a flower, a plant. Let your awareness rest upon it. How still it is, how deeply rooted in being. Allow nature to teach you stillness. And there's the cat and dog doing just that. <laughs> everything natural, every flower, tree, and animal has important lessons to teach us if we would only stop, look, and listen. And there are some of the lessons. Get a little closer so you can read them. It says just float, reflect, keep a song in your heart, smell the roses, be hoppy. The bunny said that. Find your own pace. Just watching an animal closely you can take can take you out of your mind and bring you into the present moment, which is where the animal lives all the time, surrendered to life. And there's the little bird being a little bird. <coughs> <clears throat> it's wonderful to watch an animal because an animal has no opinion about itself. It is. And there's the cat being. That's why the dog is so joyful. Now yeah, they're not worried about other things. And why the cat purrs. <laughs> when you pet a dog or listen to a cat purring, Thinking may subside for a moment in a space of stillness arises within you, a doorway into being. And she's joining the cat. And then her husband joins her. The vital function that pets fulfill in this world hasn't been fully recognized. They keep millions of people sane. Yes, they do. They have become guardians of being. Most of us live in a world of mental abstraction, conceptualization, and image making. A world of thought. We are immersed in a continuous stream of mental noise. It seems that we can't stop thinking. Just as the dog loves to chew bones, the human mind loves its problems. Squeak, 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 squeak. And I'm about to run out of time. So I will have to pick.